Hey everybody, it's the DRF900. Welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red in the last episode. We took care of Lorelei, the original Ice Queen, and Bruno, the Murray of this series. If you don't know who Murray is, then you suck. But anyway, in this episode, we're going to take on the last two Elite Four members. Up next, I am Agatha, the Elite Four. I hear Oaks had taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old stuff was once uh, through, was once tough and handsome. But that was decades ago. He's a, f he's a former of his, yeah, shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. He's wrong. Pokémon uh, are for battling. Derek, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Yes, indeed. Anyway, Agatha, she has five Pokemon on her team. Her first Pokemon is a Gengar, level 54, Ghost Poison type, Levitate for the ability with Double Team Toxic, Shadow Punch, and Fuse Ray. This thing is more danglier than it looks. Her main strategy is to weather her opponents down by using Toxic and Double Team and Confuse Ray, just to make the Toxic even worse. And then use Confuse Ray to try to deal more damage to her opponents. That could present a problem. Anyway. Next up is going to be a Golbat, level 54, Poison Flying type. And her focus for the ability. With the moves, Confuse Ray, Fight, Air Cutter, and Poison Fang. I got a spit right there. Excuse me. <clears throat> Look, they told me I heal it up off screen, which is... Awfully nice. So, someone told you this is gonna be a lot easier than I thought. But no, no, no. Hey, 1987. Or, I didn't say But anyway, um, from what I saw, next up is Arbok, level 56. Pure poison type, intimidate for the ability, and with Bite, Sludge Bomb, Screech, and Iron Tail. This one is not a really good Pokemon. If you've seen it in my bios, you would know why. If it hit, gets hit by any powerful psychic or ground type moves, then it's next to guarantee to go down. Alright. And with that sludge bomb that it has, it has a pretty good chance of leaving its opponent um, with a poison. And that did a lot less than I thought. Okay. For Thunderbolt. And... Hope it goes okay for me. Or not. Oh! He's alive! Yes! Ah, Zappy! Rock! And my voice cracked. Why is my voice cracked? No matter. Anyway, next up is, like, is our strongest Pokemon. Another Gengar at level 58. Um... Uh, Anyway, where was I? Ghost Poison Tide, Levitate for the ability, Sutra's Berry for its item, with Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Hypnosis, and Nightmare. If you haven't figured it out already, her main strategy with this one is to take you down uh, by draining your health by nightmares while you're asleep. No wonder for how they got the idea for um, Darkrai in the fourth generation. Alright, Overheat. Oh! I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just going to take it nice and calm, and I'll use my awakening. I forgot that I had to had some. Now, how'd you get a nightmare? Sludge bomb. Okay. Not really what I was expecting, but. Oh! Well, at least it can't put me to sleep again. Okay. Oh, yes. Sorry, Shinfaxi. I'll avenge you. Um. Now, yeah, Okay. Okay, um. Go for Hydro Cannon. To the face! I would have been very pissed if that did not defeat it. Anyway, go 
last Pokemon. Haunter, level 53, Ghost Poison type, levitate for the ability with Mean Look, Curse, Hypnosis, Dream Meter. This thing is a, is a, uh, kind of a curse trapper. You can, like, why did I go for Kill em All? Uh, yeah, what? <laughs> Actually, I wanted to do this. Actually, I actually have an idea. Let me heal up my, um... My Zappy over here. There we go. Oh! Oh, this is going to be... Peachy. Look what happened, see? Can't do anything. <laughs> they trapped me. She actually trapped me. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Uh. Mm. I kind of want to cut ahead for this until Kill Em All actually goes down, but wow! I've never seen this happen. Doesn't affect him, but oh my god! How many times is she gonna keep missing? Just use curse or something. We're hardly getting anywhere, old lady. Okay, at least she finally hit. Now I can't do deadly squat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing about this, but that's too funny. That is very funny. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and I can't switch out because of that mean look. Just use curse or something, lady. Or that. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to cut ahead from this. Because this is already too funny enough as it is. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I'm still laughing about this. What's she gonna do? Curse? Another dream year. She does right. Press the wrong button. Oh! Okay, now she does it. Is she gonna do it again? Uh, that was kind of my bad on that one, because I wanted to... I actually wanted to switch out the right shoe after I healed it up, but... I guess the joke's on me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That was kind of unintentional. That was me. That was my bad. Oh, that was just a deal. Why can't I not hit with stupid thunder? Oh. I shouldn't have had a bolt into it because otherwise I would have been too stupid. Dream meter. Okay, so what I'm seeing here after a dream meter hits on the first time, then that should mean that I should wake up on this turn. Wow, I'm good. And why aren't you hitting? Jeez. Oh. I forgot how creepy a hey, curse is. Especially in this particular game. It gets a whole lot worse in a later generation. I've never seen it happen in X and Y, though. Oh, well. Alrighty. I apologize if that took too long than usual. But hey, at least I got money. Alright. See what the old uh, Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Okay. Next up is going to be the champion of the Elite Four. This guy, if what's coming up, is more dangerous than you expect. You probably already know who he is, because if you have played this game before, or even in Red and Blue, for instance, then you would already know who this is, right? Because if not, we're gonna have problems. 
Now, I'm not one of those, um, Gen 1-ers. I am a Gen 2-er. I grew up with the second generation. That is, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, just want to warn you right now. If you have an electric user, use it first. To find out why, very shortly. Oh, I'm not doing it. Still love this music. Check it out. Ah, I heard about you, Derek. I leave the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical during Pokemon? They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your League Challenge ends with me, Derek. This is Lance! The original Dragon and Tamer. His first Pokemon is not a dragon. It is a Gyarados, level 56, water flying type, intimidating for the ability, but fight, Dragon Rage, Twister, Hyper Beam. A little bit of something interesting. And yeah, something that's kind of interesting. All of this Pokemon, no Hyper Beam. Now can I actually hit it? Thank you! Finally, Thunder finally made it useful in the lead. God, where was I when I needed it? Okay. Yay! Okay. Next up is a Dragonair. He has two Dragonairs. One of them has an electric type move on it. I have no idea what it is, so... I guess I'll read you... Each and one of them. Alright. One, they're both at level 54, which sheds again for the ability. Pure Dragon type. One of them will have Safeguard, Outrage, Dragon Rage, and Hyper Beam. The other one will have Thunder Wave in the place of Dragon Rage. Let's find out what this one is. Okay, this one is the one with the Dragon Rage. So this is the officially the first one. Alright, one All right. Well done, Diabound! Making your awesome first debut in, in this part. Anyway, next up is an Aerodactyl. Yes, he has one too. Aerodactyl, level 58, rock flying type, rock hand for the ability with wing attack, ancient power, scary face, and da 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 da! Hyper beam. Um, ancient power. I believe that I never talked about this one before. There is a chance I'm down I'll buff up all of your stats. Um, attack to speed. Be careful with that. See if it'll even do it. No, it will not. Hello. Oh down it goes. Alrighty. Next up is another Dragonair. I've already went over the Dragonair already. So I'll send out Diabound once again. And go on my very way. Over another Dragon Claw. And I do want to mention that this one's the one with Thunder Wave. Speaking of the devil. But it don't matter. Okay, safeguard. That protects it from all status and clicking problems. Very nice. Alright, his last Pokemon, Dragonite, level 60. Uh, Dragon Flying type, inner focus for the ability with the Citrus Berry for its item, Safeguard, Outrage, Wing Attack, and uh, Hyper Beam. Why would this guy give a freaking Dragonite Wing Attack? Just. Why? Not quite sure why I did that in the first place, but oh well. Um, now I'll take my chances with Dia Bound. Ancient power, outrage. Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. <sighs> no matter. 
good thing I saved this. Okay. Um, outrage is a continuous attack. Uh, if kept on for too long, this will happen. It will become confused due to its fatigue. No idea what fatigue means, but... Is it gonna do it? Maybe. Yes, it did it! It's an attack, defense, speed, special attack, and special defense went up. Yes! The irony! His strongest Pokemon takes himself out! Yeah! That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Damn right I am. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Derek. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or, you would have been. But you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is... Tyler! He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Okay. So. We have our rival to deal with now. So. Now that that's it done, we're gonna end things off. Okay? Next time on Pokemon Fire Red. The battle with the champion. Oh, wait. See you guys then.